Good afternoon, I'm First Alert Meteorologist Dustin Evans. Got a pretty in-depth forecast to get to, so let's get right to it. Now, rain chances peaking tomorrow, lasting through Friday, and then kind of trailing off as we head into the weekend. Only minor chances through the weekend and into Monday before they increase again going into the middle portion of next week. But it's tomorrow that is the main story here. Let's take a look at Future Track. So we are not expecting anything to happen over the next, say, 18 hours. So we're going to have a relative relatively clear and quiet night. Now, let's talk about tomorrow. We are looking at the threat for some severe weather during the morning and into the noon hours. We're looking at some scattered light showers, maybe a couple of rumbles of thunder as we head into the noon hour. Right around 3 o'clock, we're going to be looking at the possibility of those isolated thunderstorms popping up here or there. These are the ones that have uh, that unfortunate probability of maybe rotating, becoming supercells. Uh, so we'll be keeping an eye on that threat during the afternoon. Going into 5 o'clock, when you're heading home tomorrow afternoon, we're looking at more widespread strong thunderstorms moving into the Arklatex, some of which are likely to be severe thunderstorms. We see the purples and these real dark colors popping up. That is indicative of very heavy rain, and we're also looking at the potential for some large hail. Large hail and damaging wind are our main threats for your Thursday and the threat will continue going into the late evening hours eventually moving out as we head into the overnight hours uh, right around midnight. Looking ahead to Friday. Friday also has a severe threat. Uh, right now Future Track is uh, placing most of the storms in the northern half of the Arklatex. We're talking the I-30 corridor and north. You can see here going into 130, still picking up on some intense storms right around Texarkana with the front pushing the rest and the remaining storms out of the region going into the late afternoon hours. Once that front passes, the severe threat comes to an end. Taking a look, breaking down the threats tomorrow, there is a low end chance for tornadoes. A not a zero chance for tornadoes, but a low end chance for tornadoes. Like I said, the main threats we're keeping an eye on is a damaging wind, which there is a medium threat for, and the potential for some large hail. Now, there is an area in East Texas where the likelihood of two inch diameter or greater hail is a little bit higher. Uh, it's right around that Mount Pleasant and Marshall area that we're going to be keeping an eye on as well. As for Friday, the highest severe threat is in the southernmost zones of the Arklatex. If no storms fire up in that area, there is a pretty decent probability that we won't see any severe weather on Friday, but we're going to be keeping an eye on that day just to be safe. As for rainfall potential through Friday, it is going to be uh, quite a wet event. Lots of heavy rain expected, up to three inches or more in some places, so that is something we're going to be keeping an eye on as well. Our monthly rainfall totals likely to increase significantly by the weekend. Your temperature trend is going to see those temperatures fall going into Friday, actually. Now, Friday, we're going to see that cold front move through, dropping our temperatures even more going into the weekend with the low 60s for highs on Sunday being possible. We're going to stay in the 60s through Monday. As for right now on the Mattress Plus KSLA Tower camera, we got some blue skies, some puffy clouds over downtown Shreveport. Temperatures have risen into the low 80s for some. 79 still in Shreveport as well as Texarkana. We're expecting the mid 80s for highs today for most across the region. The upper 80s are within reach for some as well. Plenty of sunshine continuing. It is going to be a bit breezy though tonight. Thanks to the southerly flow, we are going to stay rather warm with lows only dropping into the low 60s. Breaking it down hour by hour tomorrow, you can see when the storms really do begin to move into the Arklatex, and this is specifically for Shreveport. We see those highs in the low 80s, it's going to be warm, and we see when the storms are going to begin. Unfortunately, this will be an evening event for your Thursday, so we're going to be keeping a very close eye on it, and that will continue into Friday as well. After that front passes, the severe threat will come to an end, and Saturday is looking like a very, very nice day. All the latest coming up on KSLA News 12 now at 4. 
And Chief Meteorologist Jeff Castle will be in for KSLA News 12 at 5, 6, and 10 with even more details. We'll see you then.